Hey everyone, it's Dylan with CT Aquatics, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use this Hanna Phosphate Checker. So this is the Hanna Marine Phosphate Ultra Low Range Phosphate Checker. This is my preferred choice when checking phosphates in the reef tank. They make a few other versions, but this one is very easy to use as there's only one reagent and it gives a pretty accurate result, uh, letting us know exactly what the phosphate levels are in our tank. And it handles low range so we can get and figure out exactly the range that we would want in a reef tank. So phosphates are important because if the levels get too high, uh, it can feed algae growth. Algae will grow off of phosphates. It's almost like a fertilizer. Um, you want to have a good balance of phosphates in your tank. Um, not too high to where algae is growing, but you don't want it too low either where your coral will die because coral use it in order to build their algae. And so this test kit, it has a range from 0, 0.00 parts per million to 0, 0.9 parts per million. So generally we want our phosphates to be around 0 0.03 to 0 0.05 parts per million. So this is the, the kit. The sleeve comes off and you're left with this nice black plastic case. And inside, uh, it normally comes with, if this was brand new, the checker here in the middle, a battery on the side. It comes with two cuvettes, a pipette for filling them, and then your packs of reagent. Uh, I've been using this kit for a while now, so some of the stuff is missing, uh, but I can still use the test kit. So here's the checker. It's a little egg-shaped green checker. The lid pops open where you can put your cuvette that's filled with your sample water. And here's your uh, start button that get, runs you through the program for the test. So now I will go through and show you how to do this test. Um, so you're going to want to start with your cuvette and you'll need one pack of reagents so I'm just going to rip this off of the pack that I have. And so this is all you'll actually need to run the test. So we're going to do our phosphate test on the main display tank right now. To start, all you have to do is fill your cuvette up to the 10 milliliter mark with water from your tank. So I'll start that now. So once you have your sample in the cuvette ready to go, we can now start running the program on our checker. To start, we're just gonna press the button, which will turn it on, and we will get our C1 displayed. At this point, we're gonna open the checker. We can take our cuvette that we just wiped off with a microfiber cloth and put it in to the checker and close the lid. Now we can press the button. This is going to scan the sample so that it has a starting point to read to compare the color to after. The reagent, when you add it to the sample, will change color and the checker is um, reading to see a difference in color and that's how it knows how much phosphates you have in the water. Once you see the C2 displayed on the screen, we can pull our sample out, take the lid off, and we're going to add in our pack of reagent. So to get all of the reagent in, I generally like to grab it by the top corner where you're gonna rip it or cut it. And I flip it to get all of the um, powder into what the bottom corner. At this point, you can either rip or cut along the line. And then you should be able to open your packet. that you should see all of the reagent is in the bottom corner. At this point I usually like to fold it to give myself like a little funnel and then we can drop this 
right into our pack, our uh, cuvette with the sample water and try and get as much of the powder out of the packet and into the cuvette as possible. So you can see that this is pretty empty. Now we're gonna put the lid back on and now comes the fun part. You have to shake this for two minutes. All right, so we've been shaking it for two minutes. Now we can put it back into the um, device before, and it can start doing the reading. All right, so now we can put the cuvette back into the reader. We're gonna close the lid. And now for this reader, you wanna hold the button down until the three minute timer starts. After the timer is done, the reading will display. So there's the phosphate reading for this tank. So the phosphate reading on this tank came out as 0.17, which is a lot higher than we actually want it to be. Um, this tank I've been battling the phosphates for for a little while. It's actually quite a bit lower than it was previous, the previous time that I checked it. So we're on the right track of getting them down. Uh, the range that we would like them to be is 0.03 to 0.05. So we still have quite a bit of a ways to go. So that's how you use the uh, HANA phosphate ultra low range checker. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you enjoy our content, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications to join us on our journey through the sea.